Hello everyone, we are going to solve problem 63 of chapter 16 of your textbook. If the angular velocity of link AB is omega AB equals 3 radian per second, determine the velocity of the block at C and the angular velocity of the connecting link CB at the instant shown. Theta is 45 degrees and phi is 30 degrees. So we have, <clears throat> we want to find the velocity of C and we have omega AB here. And the question is asking for another omega, which is omega CB. We can, because we have omega AB, we can find velocity at B. And once we have the velocity at B, we can find our relative velocity equation to find the velocity at C the velocity of interest. So velocity at C is equal to velocity at B plus velocity of C with respect to B. VCB is, is a rotation component. Both point C and B are uh, on the same rigid body. So VC equals VB plus omega CB because we have two omega here I'm just going to write the, the indices for each omega cross R CB let's see what we have and what we need to find VC we don't have the magnitude but we have the direction so when VC is moving this direction when we have omega CB then omega Sorry, when we have omega AB, omega CB would be counterclockwise, so forcing to velocity as C to be in the opposite direction of X. So I'm going to draw my coordinate system because the problem doesn't have a coordinate system. So we know which direction is positive and negative. So I found the direction of VC by inspection, by just looking at the problem, saying that, okay, if link AB is going to rotate counterclockwise, the other link is going to uh, rotate um, uh, counterclockwise as well, and then the velocity C would be in the opposite direction. If you assume the opposite of what I assume, you're going to get a negative value, and then you know the direction you assume is incorrect. So even your visual inspection is incorrect, the final answer will be correct. But it's easier to just look at the problem and try to figure out uh, where each link is, is moving. It's, it's going to simplify the equation. So we have VC, VB, Omega CB, and RCB. We have four vectors that we need to find in Cartesian form so we can solve the problem. Uh, velocity C, we don't know the magnitude, but we know that the block C has to move in that direction, has to move in the X direction. So VC if whatever the magnitude is, VC negative VCI. VB, to find the velocity of B, either I can use the vector formulation or I find VB in a scalar form. So if I know the velocity B has to be in this direction, perpendicular to rod AB, and because that angle is 30 degrees, and these two lines are perpendicular. This line is perpendicular to this line. Also, this one is perpendicular to that one. So this angle would be 30 degrees as well. The magnitude of VB is R omega. If R is 2, omega is 3, so 6 meter per second. And based on the angle, I find the component. The Y component would be negative and the X component would be positive. But well, that's a scalar formulation of finding VB. Also, we can say that also VB is VA, which is zero, plus VB over A. VA is zero, VB is omega AB cross RAB to find the velocity of B. So that's a vector formulation. So <clears throat> VB and then we have omega CB. If 
because it's counterclockwise, so it's going to be positive z. Let me draw the z coordinate axis as well. Also, r c b that I need to find it um, in a vector formulation in a in a Cartesian form. So let's find omega c b. I still need to write v b. So v b. I'm going to use a scalar formulation. I have the magnitude of v for the angle. So v v would be six. The x component would be six cosine 30. And the j component would be, uh, sorry, the x component would be sine 30. And that would be cosine. Cosine 30 uh, J. Now omega, I can write here omega C B. I don't know the magnitude, but I know it's gonna be counterclockwise, so positive K. The next thing that I need to find is RCB in a vector formulation for RCB. Let's go and look at what is RCB. I'm gonna clean up the image a little bit. Yeah, so you can see. So RCB. RCB is from B to C. So that's RCB. This angle is 45, so this angle is also 45. The, the length is three feet. So RCB, this is RCB, and this angle is 45 degrees. And this is RCB. And it's 45, so or CB from B to C, the both X and Y component are, are positive. So three cosine 45, because cosine and sine 45 are the same thing. So I just write cosine for both and both of them are positive by factor three cosine 45. So I plus J. Now I have everything in terms of vector form. I have omega, I have r, I have vb, and I have vc. So I can write my equation here saying that, okay, I wanna find vc. I know vc is vb plus vc over b, or vb plus omega cb plus rcb. So what is VC? Would be negative VCI, VB would be three I, negative three a square root of three J. So VB, if we look at it here, it would be six sine 30, so it would be three I, and then cosine 30, which is square root of three over two, so it would be negative three a square root of three j. So I need to go to omega cb. I don't know the magnitude, so I just write omega cb k cross rcb. rcb is here. So again, this one is a square root of two over two, so that would be 1.5 a square root of to I and the same thing for J. In this equation, I have two unknown. One is omega CB, that's the unknown. The other one is velocity SC that I need to find. It's a vector, so that means that I have two equation, one for I and one for J. So for I component, let's write the I component. Here on the left side, I have negative VC. On the right side, I have 3I, so I write 3. Then here I have a 
cross product that I need to solve for. So K cross I give me J, I'm not interested in that one for now. And then K cross J gives me I, because K cross J, I'm moving the opposite direction of my assumption. This is I, J, K. So K cross J, K cross J would be the, the opposite direction, clockwise. But would, the cross product will generate a negative value. So negative omega CB 1.5. The square root of two omega bb. That's the i component. Now I will move to the j component. I can't solve it as it is because I have two unknown. The j component here, I don't have any j component on the left side, so I write zero. Then I have a j component. See, I didn't have any j component here. I have a j component here. And Ki will give me a J component. So let's write the J components. Negative three, square root of three, 1.5, square root of two, omega CB. So K cross I gives me J. Omega CB times 1.5 square root of two. If you look at this equation, the only unknown is Omega CB. So we are not even finding two equations and two unknown, just one equation and one unknown. So from that, Omega CB would be 2.45 radian per second. And if you plug it into the first equation, this equation, once we have omega CB, we can find VC. To be 2.2 meter per second. So these are the two on now. We found both values to be positive, so the direction that we assumed was correct. So we started by writing our general equation, VC equals VB plus VCB. Both point B and C are on the same rod. So we can write the relative velocity equation. The difference between the two is just the rotation. We didn't have omega CB and VC, so we could, we could find that. VB, to find the velocity of VB, we had two options. Either looking at the image and saying that omega AB is uh, is rotating counterclockwise, so VB has to be in that direction. And then we found the angle to be third, and then write the VB in terms of its Cartesian component. Or we could write VB cross uh, uh, omega AB cross RBA, and that's the vector formulation. So you could use both approach, and I recommend that you try both to see that you get the same answer. 